Number 80. For each of the following pairs of reaction diagrams, identify which of the pairs is catalyzed. Okay, so here we have one pair. So we have reaction A, which is this graph, and then we have reaction B, which is this graph. We need to find out out of these two, which is the one that's catalyzed. Now, we know that catalysts will always speed up a reaction by lowering the activation energy. But who has time to figure out the activation energy, especially if they just give us graphs? The easier method, and when you're in a bind, right, if they give you graphs and you just need to know which one is catalyzed, the catalyzed reaction will always have the lower transition state. So transition states are like the younger siblings of the activation energy. Activation energy is the energy needed to go from the start all the way up to the top. But the transition state is literally the tippy-tippy points, or if you have multiple peaks, because you have multiple steps, these are your peaks. So if it's a one-step reaction, that just means that, you know, you, you'll only have one peak. But if you have a two-step reaction, you'll have two peaks. One could be higher than the other. Now, in both of these, I see that I have two peaks. I have one right here, and I have another right here, right? They could be the same, you know, the same energy. They could be different energy. That doesn't matter. Could be that this first one was lower and the second one is higher. But just, can, you know, just see that you have these two peaks in your mountains. So the one that's catalyzed will always have the lower values. So let's see. We have a peak right here, which if we go back to the, the line, right, this one is coming in at 45 kilojoules, okay? So we've got 45 kJs, and then we have this one, and if I just try to bring that one back, that one looks like, let's see, that one, maybe, I don't know, 43 kilojoule. Okay, so we have one peak at 45 kilojoule, one transition state at 45 kilojoules, and one transition state at 43 kilojoules. Now let's look at this one. This one looks identical, right? It's still at 45, so that didn't change. But then for the second peak, if I bring this back, this is now at like 30, you know, 37, we'll say. So we just have to compare those transition states. 45, 45, that's no difference, but 43 and 37, this one is the lower peak. And you can clearly see that by just looking at it, you know, this one was a higher peak, this one's a lower peak. The lower the transition state, the lower the peaks. Uh, the catalyzed, you know, the reaction is catalyzed. So in this case, letter B would be the catalyzed reaction because it had the lower transition states, the lower peaks, which means that it would have the lower activation energy and the reaction would be faster. And that's it. I hope this helped. Thank you so much for viewing the video. Subscribe to the channel. If you want to be a member, check out the memberships. We've got four tiers. Uh, perks for you guys if you want it. You know, it's, you know, you're not obligated to doing it. But if you wanted to help the channel out a little more, you can always do that. But either way, I thank you so much for your support. And let's just keep going. Let's keep rocking and rolling. And I'll see you next video. Okay, bye-bye.